Hey, Steve, they were the biggest things I've ever seen. And one of them had tattoo on it. You know, I might just go out in there and ask her out for a date. You know that? Are you serious, Steve? God just won't let me be happy, will he? Hey, folks. It's a uh, psychotic comedian for show number 151. So let's get on and ride this horse. I haven't been here for a while. Um, I can explain why. I was, <coughs> I was in New York City uh, doing a couple scenes, a couple films for my, uh, for my company. And I was introduced to, I don't know if you know what seagulling is, it's a sexual practice, and the glory hole. And, um, let's see what I was going to say. Yeah, I just, I didn't know about it, but the director told me about it, but uh, you could just Google it to find out what it is. Uh, you know, I don't want to explain it, but uh, I was seaguller number four, and uh, after I seagulled, uh, the glory hole is like a hole in a wall that you stick your dick through and someone else gets you off on the other end. So after I did the sea, sea galler, I, I, I went with a fluff girl and she got uh, hard again. Then I stuck my dick through the glory hole. So in all essence, UPTV, I guess you could call me a glorious sea galler, can't you, Jason? All right. Hey, Jason's holding a memo card saying, good to know. All right. I worked as a uh, coal miner back in the early 1900s in uh, California. And I, I, I entered some pretty dark black holes. One, the, one hole was so black, it uh, kind of reminded me of my... I, I haven't seen the hole so black since my last marriage to the ex-infamous prostitute Shea Donuts. All right. You guys probably know Kristen Slater, the actor. He was in like a lot of 80s movies and stuff. I never liked him. I always thought he was too cocky and he, he thought too much of his ego maniac, thought too much of himself. So I'm like, you know, when I say, I say Christians, later dude, all right. Christians later dude, okay. For those of you that don't think I perform in adult films, just look at the guys that are in it these days. I rest my case, Jason. All right. What do you call two chicks kissing on each other, a drunk piano player, uh, a beach full of uh, sun tanners? That would be uh, my 16th birthday party. We took a trip to the Bahamas. All right. How's it going? I was, uh, you know, Ask Jeeves, you know, the guy that thinks he knows everything. I got on the internet and I asked Jeeves, I said, most people, it's talking to me, serious, this is serious, that most people just, uh, just use 10% of their brains. And, uh, I asked Jeeves, what do the other 90, what do they use the other 90% for? He I had a he had a picture on me on the internet and Jeeves had his uh, hand over my shoulder. He goes, uh powder, that would be porn. All right. I have some pretty weird dreams lately, UPTV. <laughs> and most people say they spill over to my regular life. All right. It's a tough neighborhood where I live. It's getting tougher. But I still have a sin to live out there. If you get shot. Did you get a gift certificate to go to your favorite store? How about that? All right. Well, you know when, uh, have you heard Third Rock from the Sun with uh, the guy, the, the family that lived on uh, the different planet and John Lithgow? I made a few guest appearances on there. And one of them, uh, I can kind of tell you the dialogue. I go, John. Your family is weird. It is, isn't it? Paul Paul is funny, honey, isn't he? I say, is this wife, you got to fuck her on a regular basis? Yeah, she's a rancid bitch, ain't she? Paul Paul is funny, he is. All right. The other night I was giving myself a hand job watching internet uh, pornography. And after seven hours, I shot my load. 
And I was laying, and it went straight over my head. I said, oh, stand back. There goes my kids. All right. Here we go again. The warning to you guys out there. Uh, it'll be Friday night. People, are, men are going to try to get screwed, get laid. They're not probably not going to. Even if they do, there are going to be consequences. Let me set this scenario for you. It's Friday, it's around 1 o'clock in the morning, there's this horny chick, you know, she's had a few to drink, and uh, you go up and talk to her, you end up going back to her apartment and fucking. Well, next thing you know, you appear in court, station for a sexual assault charge. And worse more, the whole jury is female, for Christ's sake. You end up with... 30 years in prison. Now, doesn't that sound like fun, guys? Uh, looks like I picked the wrong week to... Uh... This is what the professional models use out in the exotic shoots in the Bahamas and Caribbeans. How about that? I, uh... This is going up the nose. <sighs> That's some good shit. Why do I need to get laid when I get high on this? All right. By the way, I want to seriously. I want to learn the chords. I learned off the internet, and I want to bring the guitar and actually play some good tunes for you one of these days. But anyway, uh, if you've seen one about Bob, I've done a few scenes with that. So I want to work with that today and do a uh, scene. So I'll just kind of switch back and forth. So uh, this is Joan. Welcome to Good Morning America. Uh, let me talk to Marie. Marie, what is so special about Lake Winnipesaukee? Well, among other things, Joan, it's the summer home of Dr. Leo Marvin, the author of the latest sensation in therapy, Baby Steps. And with him is patient Paul Skinner. Who is who is a patient and and obviously a big fan of Baby Steps therapy. Good morning, Doctor Marvin, Paul. Good morning. So it sounds like a very interesting process. Uh, it sounds like a very interesting process. How does Baby Steps Baby Steps work on someone like Paul? Well, Joan, I'm very happy with the way baby steps are going. I think making the writing accessible and understandable to my colleagues as well as my the layman. Paul, what is your impressions of baby steps? Mashed, mashed potatoes and gravy, Marine. I couldn't be happier, more happier with baby steps. I was a total disaster. And I don't even think, well, I'm in front of millions and millions of people today rubbing it in. And I don't even think Dr. Barber knows what the hell's going on. I'm very excited, UPTV. It sounds like an interesting process, Paul. How long have you been a patient of Dr. Barber's? Uh, three or four days. <laughs> it's not supposed to work that quick. It just worked on poop. Poop? Paul, Paul, you can call me poop if you want. If you did as an accident, it's okay. I didn't mean to call poop. It's not supposed to work that quickly. But it did work that quickly. That's the miracle of baby steps. But it's not just this book. It's just man. It's the compass, it's the compass, it's the decency, it's the integrity, it's the horses of the guy that gets you. I think there's only three names. I would like to say I like to mention three names to compare to the greatness of this man. Dr. Albert Schweitzer, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, Cal Cal Calcutta probably, and Dr. Leo Marvin. The book is Baby Steps. The author is Dr. Leo Marvin. And we've been talking with Paul Skinner. Pretty impressive stuff, Paul. Okay.
That was no outside the house. That was great, Bob. Thank you very much, Marie. Uh, can we update your progress in three months? Uh, if it's okay with my doctor. Yeah, that'd be a very good idea. Um, so, uh, this is Marie. How long do you plan on staying, uh, staying here? Just until Labor Day, then we're all going back to New York City. All right, that's the scene. And that's the show, I think. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed my uh, performance today. It's been a while. Um, I'd like to thank uh, like you so much for watching again. Friday after dark and uh, YouTube audience. I'd like to thank Jason Leggett so much today. Great guy. I'm so glad I got to know him, got to meet him. And also uh, Joseph, the, the camera operator, and also uh, Jake uh, Shoemaker, who I met today. And let me think what I'm going to say. This is the psychotic comedian, Bid You Adieu. New York, New York. If I can make it there, I can make it anywhere, Jason. All right.